welcome to this channel gain java knowledge and today in this video we will learn what is pessimistic log and what are the benefits of using pessimistic log and we'll also learn how to enable pessimistic log in our spring boot application so there are plenty of situations when we want to retrieve data from a database sometimes we want to lock it for ourselves for further processing so no one can else can interrupt our action so we can say a pessimistic lock is a concurrency control mechanism used in database system so we can use a pessimistic lock to ensure that no other transaction can modify or delete the reserved data so for example we have sent multiple parallel requests to db to update the same record so in that case if we have applied pessimistic log so in this case our first request will get the data from db and it will apply the log on this transaction so no other request can get this same data so once first request will complete and data will be updated after that second request can get the same record from db so as we know jps specification defines three pessimistic log modes but here we are going to discuss pessimistic write log so pessimistic write log when any transaction that needs to acquire a log on data and make changes to it should obtain the pessimistic write load so according to the jps specification holding pessimistic write load will prevent other transaction from reading updating or deleting the data so what are the main benefits of using pessimistic log and why we should use this so rollbacks can be costly for the database system as it needs to revert all current pending changes which might involve both table rows and index records so for this reason pessimistic logging might be more suitable when conflicts happen frequently as it reduces the chance of rolling back transaction so now we will learn how to enable pessimistic logging in spring data jpa so here i have created one spring boot application and inside spring boot application i have created one controller class that is employee controller and inside intro employee controller i have created two rest endpoint one is used to get employee by id and second is used to update the employee by name so here i have created two rest endpoints so let me go to get employee by id so it is simple method it just retrieving the data from database based on employee id and second is used to update the employee so inside update employee i have added stop for 5 second by using thread dot sleep so it will wait for 5 second before complete its execution so once it will get the data from db after that it will wait for 5 seconds and after that it will process the request and once it will set the data and it will update the record in db so first i will update this record uh, employee record without using pessimistic log so first we will see the issue without using pessimistic log after that we will apply pessimistic log on our transaction so now i will go and check the record in db so here we can see in db there is sumit age 21 salary 500 so now i am just going to update the salary of employee name sumit so let me go here and first i will start the application so here we can see i have not applied any pessimistic log here so first we will check code without pessimistic log after that we will apply pessimistic log so here we can see once application will start we will send some parallel request to update the record 
because pessimistic low is useful in case of parallel requests once when our endpoint is getting parallel request to update the same record so let me go and here i have added here i have added two request bodies first one is update employee sumit uh, here i am just passing this data balance 200 so it will update the salary of employee if our employee have salary 500 in the db and i will just execute the one first request that is 200 here i am passing so after completing first request the record will be here it will show 700 in the salary column and if i will execute second request so it will add 300 also in the last balance here we can see the logic in update employee what we have applied it will wait for 5 seconds and it is the method if balance is not null then first it will get the salary and uh, will add the balance that we are passing in our request body and we will update in the db so let me go back to postman so our application has already started and now i will execute both requests parallelly without using pessimistic log so first i will send this request here i am updating employee smith and request started now i will go and execute the second request with same name here i am going to update the same record with two parallel request so here we can see the output it's just showing 3500 and if i will go for first request and here it's showing 700 and in the db we can see the balance and salary now after refreshing so here we can see now salary is 3500 but it should show here 3700 because our initial balance was 500 and in the first request we have passed 200 so 500 plus 200 is 700 and in second request we have passed the salary or balance is 300 3000 so it should show salary 3700 here but here it's showing some data inconsistency so to resolve this type of issue we should use pessimistic low in our spring boot application so let me go over application again and here i will add at the rate transactional annotation at our service layer now i will go to my repository layer so our repository layer here i will apply pessimistic low at the rate low low mode type pessimistic right here we are going to use so here i have applied pessimistic log on the function find by name the same function here i am using in our service implementation for fetching the data from db so now let me stop my application and start it again and here i will update our initial balance is 500 so let me update it so here i have again revert back and now it's showing salary is 500 for sumit so let me go and check our application has started so here we can see our application has started at port number 8080 so let me clear the logs and now i will execute both requests parallelly and we'll check the output if pessimistic log is working fine or not so let me go to second request and execute this so here we can see with first request i have passed 200 and it's completed successfully and now here it is showing 700 
if I go for second request and here we can see it's showing 3700 and in DB it should show 3700 also so let me refresh so here we can see now it's showing salary 3700 and before pessimistic look it was just showing 3500 so if we have applied pessimistic law then parallel request will also work fine and it will not show any data inconsistency so to resolve this type of data inconsistency issue with parallel request we should go for pessimistic law and to apply pessimistic law we just need to add one annotation that is at the rate log and we can apply pessimistic log so if i will go find by name so here we can see how we have enabled pessimistic log in our spring boot application okay thanks for watching this video